Hi, everyone. Um, today I'm three weeks postpartum, and I just wanted to show my belly. Still not all the way down. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's still dark. Still have that line. That's not going to go away for some months, so. But that's that for three weeks postpartum. Can you see? It's kind of blurry. So, that's that. Hi everyone, so I am four weeks postpartum today. And I just wanted to show my belly progression. Baby is crying. Oh, uh, my belly is still dark. Still dark. Still have the line. And it's not... It's not defined still, so, but it is still going down, so that's that. Hi, everyone. So, um, this is my four week postpartum video update. Um, so we are four weeks postpartum and the baby is a month old already. Uh, everything's been going really good. Uh, my sleep has gotten better. She, uh, had a growth spurt, I, I believe, like the last, um, it was like two weeks ago. Because the last two weeks the sleep has been a lot better. She's sleeping long stretches and like, she only woke up about two times last night, I think, to eat. So she's been waking up twice a night for the last week or two. Before it was like, um every two every two hours like four times a night four five times a night but it's been gotten a lot better last week um don't touch it don't touch it it's Adri um healing and everything is good um my my belly is still really jiggly and soft and I want to get it toned up but um other than, other than that, I'm good with how everything is healing and going back to normal. Uh, um, I, I did have, like, constipation issues. So I just had to, like, up the fiber intake. I mean, this is what happened when I had Adri. I just have issues with when I have babies with um, constipation. So it's, like, too much information, but that's what it is. Uh, my stitches were healing, too. I had a little issue with that. Um, and it was like ir irritating me, but that's all good. So everything is good from healing and getting used to having two. And um, the breastfeeding is really good. It sometimes it gets painful still because she's not latching on like completely right, but um, it's okay. It's, it's not as as bad as it was when I had Adrian. Um, I haven't had too much of like. Depression. I, I haven't had no postpartum okay. depression. I've had like uh, baby blues, like where like I'm just thinking like I want another baby, and it sounds crazy, but I think that's baby blues. Or I'm like just getting sad or overwhelmed with even just just looking at them, two of them. Like I have two babies and okay. and being like overwhelmed and happy ah. and then sad. It's just it's it's just like my hormones are are going crazy trying to get back to normal but it's not anything real serious uh my face broke out really bad after after i had her too like a couple weeks ago like a week or two ago and i think that's from the hormones but it's, it's starting to go away a little bit um i think that's about it for me not much else to talk about uh, I feel, I still feel good, I, I don't, I can't believe it's only four weeks, I feel really good still, um, for, as for the baby, she had her one month, one month doctor's appointment, she is now 10 pounds, 9 ounces, she was born, when she was born, she was 7 pounds, 12 ounces, she, when she got, 
when she got discharged from the hospital she was seven three i believe so she's gained a lot um almost four four pounds since um she's born and her doctor was kind of concerned because she gained all that weight she's in the 75th percentile <coughs> With her weight. Don't touch it, Adri. She's in the 75th percentile with her weight. Her height, well, the doctor's thing, the doctor's measure said that, oh, uh, measurement said that she was 21 inches long. She was born, she was 20 and a half. So, when we went there, like, uh, the first or, the first or second time when they, um, when they measured her, she was, she had shrunk. And so, I think that their measurements might be a little off compared to what she was measured at the hospital. So, her doctor was concerned because she's her her uh, her weight is seventy fifth percentile, her height is twenty fifth percentile. Is that matching up with how much weight she's gained, with how how she's growing? So her doctor said she's kind of overweight. So she was saying maybe I'm overfeeding her, which I could believe is true because every time she cries, I, I feed her. I think she's hungry, and the doctor told me to like maybe um, try pacifiers or something else to try to see if. It's not that she's hungry, because I just assume she's hungry, because she's breastfed, and breastfed the baby eat a lot more, so I just assume she's hungry, so we started with the pacifier this week, a couple of days ago, and actually she's taking it, and it's, it's a lot better, I mean, we can keep her, she st she'll stop crying for for a while without um, having to feed her, so that's working out good, I was scared she wouldn't like it, or wouldn't take the pacifier, but she's taking it. Um, and now I'm going to start, um, pumping milk and giving her a bottle because Adri did not take the bottle at all. She would not take it. She rejected it. And so I want to start doing things with Adri without having to take Elise with us and letting her stay at home with, uh, my husband. So I'm going to start her on the bottle. And, um, we're a little bit sick. I might sound a little congested. We're sick. Me and the baby, we're sick. Adri made us sick. Um... So it's a little co a little cold. Um, she was really she was really congested. Like at night she can't breathe really good. But the doctor um, they just told me there's nothing much I can do. She can't take medicine. And also with the baby, her face is um, breaking out. She has like a little a whole bunch of the little red bumps, and it's even going to her her back and her ears. And exact the exact same thing, the exact same thing happened with Adri. At four weeks old, she started breaking out with these little red bumps all over her face, on her cheeks, her ears, and her back. And the doctor said it was um, cradle cap. And so um, with Adri, she told us to put baby oil in her hair, scratch out. There was no flakes though. There's no flakes with Adri. No, there's no flakes with her. So she told us to put baby oil, scratch out the flakes, or just scratch the scalp and wash it with like stealth and blue and then we put um hydrocortisone on the, the rashes and with Adrian went away in two days so I'm gonna do that with her I haven't done that yet and um hopefully it'll go away her, her skin color is a lot lighter than Adrian's so it's like a big it's like really red but you probably can't see it on camera if I showed you um I think other than that was it uh for our four weeks um Everything is going really good. I took the girls out by myself for the first time last week, and it wasn't as bad as I thought. My husband went back to work. It's not a bad, as bad as I thought. I'm trying to keep them on the schedule, but um, it's kind of hard because newborns don't do schedules. It's, that's, like, not even possible. So I try to keep Adrian on some kind of routine, and, um, she had her first bath too. That's another thing. She we gave her her first bath, and she likes baths, so that's a good thing. She doesn't like to get dressed. She doesn't like we put getting her dressed or changing her diaper, but she likes baths. Um, and that's about it. So I'll put up some clips of them, with the baby and Adrian. And that's it for four weeks. So I will see you when I'm at six weeks. So bye.